So well, let's get into the green stimulus then. You mentioned that. So so what exactly is going on there in the infrastructure package? Well, as I said, there's a lot of stuff on transportation, which is good. And actually, to Biden's credit, uh, he's, a, he's an Amtrak fan, you know, yeah. more for mass transit than um, highways and bridges. So that's unusual um, type of thing. Senator Schumer um, is really into electric cars. So it's a lot of money for electric cars, but I think it's $279. Um, I can't say the exact amount, but he, he basically wants all new cars in the United States, this is Schumer, to be electric by, by 2030, which mm. is actually a, fine, uh, a faster timer um, timeline than most of the environmental groups talk about. They tend to talk about by, by 2035. He wants to give us money so that we'll trade in our fossil fuel car and, and buy uh, an electric car. So that's good. Um, you know, and I said they are doing money on, on transportation, and I do think mass transit is sort of a better solution. You know, certainly water and sewer are significant problems, public health problems in the United States, and it's always good to put money into that. It, you know, it has a relationship to climate change, but it's not sort of a, it's not what's going to stop us getting to 1.5, you know, degrees. I can't argue against that money, but that shouldn't count towards a climate budget. So, you know, and, and yeah, there's a lot of, there's, there's a lot of gestural things and a lot of things where it's like, okay, that's good. This isn't enough, but that's good. Um, but then you'll see these gestures. And then on the same note, you'll see where Biden was most passionate when it comes to the environment. And what he was most passionate about was the promise to not ban fracking. That's right. where he is the most passionate. So how do, how do we, combat that really i mean the power be like, like they get a lot of money from oil and gas we both know this um how do we push for a fracking ban how do we try to get there well you know new york was perhaps the first state to do that mm -hmm. um and a lot of different factors one overlooked factor was uh, how we working getting five percent of the vote for, for governor a lot more than the green party gets tremendous tremendous grassroots bird dogging of uh, of the governor every place he went people were asking him about fracking and somebody from pennsylvania for new york came up with this legal strategy of getting local towns to pass ordinances to ban fracking in their town mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, towns actually did that in uh the southern tier where, where a lot of the fracking was going on and so how are we getting five percent of the vote um, my God, every place I go as governor, they're yelling at me and, and screaming at me. And now these towns have really prevented much of the fracking from occurring with these laws. And they want a court case at the state court of appeal upholding that. You know, he, he, he sort of gave up. Um, people were very creative. You know, they spent five years of their life, more than I did, you know, just, you know, doing this. Um, I think we have to be really dominant on this. As I said, the Democrats are unwilling, and I'm talking about the AOC wing of the Democrats, are been unwilling to say halt, abandon fracking. She does say mm -hmm. five year phase out. So she's getting there, but it's not, you know, a ban. And it's, you know, we need to take over the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission and stop all these gas pipelines and fossil fuel projects. I've been arrested, you know, three times, in, you know, when I turned 65. I said, time to put my, you know, body on the line. and try to get XR to be a little bit more supportive of direct action. They're not quite as strong in the United States as in, um, in, in Europe, but, but you gotta, you gotta say no to it. I think a carbon tax is one thing to do. Uh, I got a lot of friends who say, no, 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 no. You're paying, um, to allow these guys to pollute. And I say, well, somewhat, but it makes it more expensive. It's going to help. You also got to mandate emissions at the same time. I'm not in any way saying the only thing you do is a carbon tax. I think it's one of the, you know, six or seven tools, uh, they can really go after, you know, the fossil fuels. And you got to be willing to, you know, I got to be willing to use every tool. Got to be using the real, use every tool. Other ones that don't work, don't use the full solutions. Right. And, sure, and, sure, and sure. that's going to be the big fight. I think the big fight is going to be over a carbon capture. I think in the um, economic stimulus, energy stimulus, they did right before the end of the last session. So maybe December 30th or January 2nd, that period of time. I think it was six hundred billion. Oh, 
It, it was no, 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 way too much. It was six billion for carbon capture and sequestration, and about ten billion um, for uh, nuclear. And then there's all the, you know, what, what carbon capture is, and this, unfortunately, the IPC heavily promotes carbon capture. You know, um, hey, if you want to change your agricultural practices and do regenerative agriculture and put the carbon back in the soil, that's fine. You want to change your, what, your pasture, you know, that's fine. But the idea we're going to pay these fossil fuel companies to figure out, well, we're still going to go burn our stuff, but we're going to capture it and use it for something else. It's, it's corporate welfare at its worst. I mean, they've already spent tens of billions of dollars on research. Nothing's been doable at scale. Um, it's the, the lobbyists are there with their hands out, you know, asking for more money. And, you know, uh, Pete, there's a lot of money going to be spent on trying to save the planet from, you know, climate t catastrophe. And we got to make sure it isn't just going into the, the pockets of the, um, the billionaires. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together.